Hello everyone and welcome back to another hot sauce video. When I did the July video for my Hot One subscription, I had mentioned that I had the June sauces ready to go with the exception of the one that was broken. I actually just got the one that the replacement model in the mail today, so we're gonna be doing all three of those sauces. Um, it took them, them a while to get it to me. I think there was like a glitch with their shipping software, or that's what, what they said. So um, I got the bottle today, and you know they de they gave me like a ten dollar gift card. So we definitely um, saw that there was like a problem with it, and um, that they did it ship. So we're like, hey, like here's your bottle, and it came in like a couple days. So got a ten dollar gift card, which I can use to buy other sauces from them, which I'll probably use at some point to see if they have. Probably my favorite sauce from them so far was like um, really like the Thor's hammer sauce, so I might grab that. But we have uh, three sauces. I unfortunately don't have the um, information card anymore because the bottle of Island Wings was broken in the June box and the um, information card kind of got like soaked through a sauce and was basically, it just disintegrated as soon as I tried to pick it up out of the box. So we're just gonna have to go, to the, go into this just kind of reading what's the name of the sauce, what's in it, and then my opinions. I don't know exactly, you know, like who makes it or anything like that. I'm sure on the bottle it'll, it'll probably say. So I've got an order selected that I think might work based on just looking at the bottles. Um, the Island Wings is considered to be a medium sauce. So I'm doing that with second, and then there's one that looks like it's supposed to be hotter, or just based on the way the, the label looks. And then one that looks like it's a little more mild. It's from a company that they made a pretty mild sauce a while ago, so I'm imagining this one's also fairly mild. Let me see. This one is, let me see. I don't know exactly. So I'll show you what we have here. So we have, um, this one has ghost pepper, so it might actually be spicier. It's spicier. So this is, we have collards and ghost this time. We have the island wings here. This is the replacement bottle. This is what, the one that was broken. So there's island wings. And then we have uh, dingo sauce, which is the psychic, or psycho hot sauce. I remember the very first box I had back in uh, 2020. I think dingo was the one that made that. I think it was Widowmaker was one of their sauces, and it was pretty spicy. So I don't know here. This, this one here, this one is pineapple cayenne for the island wings. And then this is collard and ghost. I'm just going to go with the order I selected. So we're going to go with this one first. Um, I definitely find ghost peppers. I don't know what's hotter, cayenne or ghost. Um, I know ghost pepper is kind of now regarded as, like, if a restaurant, restaurant wants to find that that's really, really hot, they usually go with ghost because it's, it's definitely spicy, but it's definitely, like, not something that is, like, insanely hot, like Carolina Reaper or anything like that. So this is the Hot and Saucy Collards and Ghost Hot Sauce. Let's take a look at our ingredients here. Do we give you... Oh, here we go. So we have um, collard greens, ghost peppers, extra virgin olive oil, um, onion, apple cider vinegar, garlic, brown sugar, salt, and water. This looks like it's fairly liquidy sauce. Let's go ahead and get it shaken up. And get the wrapper off of here. And part of the, looks like part of the lid just actually kind of cracked off. That may have been due to it being hit against the other glass and the thing. This one was intact, but I have like, another lid I can use, so it's fine. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Because all these out bottles are roughly, they're like five ounces, so the lids are pretty much universal on, universal on a lot of them. So there we go. This is, again, the Collards and Ghosts from, um, what's it called? Hot in Saucy, um, Cotton Saucy is who makes it. Okay, so I'm noticing the ghost pepper kind of right away. I'm not really sure what the collard greens are supposed to taste like. I don't know if I've ever, ever had collard greens before. But it definitely has a, a pretty decent heat to it. It's got, a good, it's got a good flavor. So, I, I, again, I don't know exactly what flavor the collard greens give it. Because, like I said, I've never actually had a point of reference to... Don't know if I've ever had collard greens. I don't think I have. But that's a pretty good sauce. So again, that is the, uh, let's see here, the Hot and Saucy Collards and Ghost. There's our bottle there. Now right, we're going to move to our next sauce. Kind of cleanse the palate a little bit. 
All right, next up is the Island Wings. So this is Adobo Loco. They've made some pretty good sauces before. They made a really nice kind of mild sauce a while ago called like, uh, it was like, like Minos Bra or something like that. And then they, they made a, um, a scorpion sauce before that, which was probably one of the only scorpion sauces I really liked. They somehow balanced, I'm not really big on just the taste of scorpion peppers, but they somehow balanced the flavor of the scorpion pepper with other stuff to make it like a little bit better. Like I remember the first scorpion sauce I had, I, had, I think it was like I have scorpion and I just didn't really care for it. But uh, this is the Adobo Loco Island Wings. Um, let's see, pineapple cayenne pepper sauce. It says it's a medium sauce. It might not show up on camera, but it's right there. It's medium heat. So let's see what we have here. So the ingredients on the Island Wings. There's our nutrition facts. Oh, here we go, ingredients. Uh, so pineapple, chili pepper, red wine vinegar, honey, onion, onion powder, nutritional yeast, sea salt, mustard seed powder, and spices. I think I've only had nutritional yeast once, and it was at a movie theater. It was weird because, like, we were, I was in line getting, like, popcorn. People were putting it on their popcorn. And somebody was like, oh, yeah, this is nutritional yeast. And we put it on our popcorn, and it was actually pretty good. So, um... Don't know how that's going to affect the sauce, but here we go. Got to shake it up. Go ahead, get it open. We have to grab, grab these scissors here. To cut this label off. Or at least just get it started. There we go. All right, so let's shake it up. That definitely has a nice pineapple kind of like taste to it. So let's go ahead, get it on here. All right, so there is our island wings. It definitely has like a nice pineapple taste to it. I'm not getting a ton of heat off of it just yet. Let's see if it builds up a little bit. The heat's a little bit there. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know exactly how hot cayenne is, like in comparison to these other peppers. Yeah, it's not too hot. Um, medium. I mean, medium on this bottle, like medium for me might be like mild because I just built up like a tolerance to the heat. But um, the heat isn't bad. The flavor's pretty good. So that's the Adobo Loco uh, Island Wings. This is, again, this is the one that was kind of holding this whole video up because I was just waiting for the replacement bottle. Um, so like it's here now, so it's pretty good. So that's the Island Wings. And we're into our final sauce here, which is the uh, Dingo Sauce Company. I think this is the is this the, is this the Australian one. Let me see. Yeah, made in Australia. So I think this is the same company that made the Widowmaker. But this is the Dingo Sauce Company Psycho Hot Sauce. As warning, extreme heat, fifteen out of ten on the heat scale. Uh, but let's see. Ingredients in this one are fresh chili peppers, which says it's um, Morstard Psycho, Morstard Psycho. Never heard of that one before. Uh, Moranda Scorpion, Trinidad Scorpion, Carolina Reaper, water, apple cider vinegar, spices, garlic, salt, and mustard. So just the fact that it's got... I've never heard of the the Morstard Psycho before. Um, I've heard of the Moranda Scorpion and the Trinidad Scorpion, and of course Carolina Reaper. So this is going to be just based on those three or four salt peppers here. Yes, we have the Morstard Psycho, the Mor Scorpion. Tri yeah, those four peppers are going to make this incredibly hot. So, so we got Reapers, two types of Scorpion, and this Psycho um, variety in there as well. I remember the Widowmaker being really hot, so I think this is probably going to be even hotter than that. Because I don't remember exactly what was in this in the Widowmaker, but it was, um, I don't know if it had Reaper in it. It definitely had, like, I think, like, Scorpion, so I think. Definitely smells spicy, so that's... Go ahead, get it on here. All right, there we are.
yeah, that's definitely very, very hot. It's building up quite a bit. I don't know where I rank the heat level with something like, um, like Thor's Hammer is kind of like a benchmark from like the heat. Thor's Hammer was really tasty, but also was just incredibly hot. I don't know if this is that hot, because I remember um, Thor's Hammer made this part of my ear, like right here, like these, like here, or here, and here kind of tingle, like right underneath whatever, like your earlobe. And that's not doing that for this one. But it's definitely like burning my tongue. My nose is starting to kind of run a little bit. So it's definitely quite spicy. So if, if I'm going to organize these by level of heat, I'm probably going to actually say, at least in my thing, this is probably the, the um, most mild out of the three. So we have the um, Island Wings. And then kind of in the middle, we have the Collards and Ghost. And then definitely the, the spiciest one for this set here is definitely the um, Dingo Psycho Sauce. So very good. Um, I really like, I really love the heat of this one. This one is basically more heat forward than flavor forward. So the flavor in, the, in this one isn't amazing, but the heat is really good. Like, um, and the, the flavor is okay. It's, it's definitely better than something like the bomb where it's basically just heat and no flavor. But it definitely feels like it's definitely like heat over flavor in this one. Then, this one had good flavor. I don't know exactly, I said, like I said, I've never had collard greens, so I don't know what the exact, like, flavor profile of them are, or they are, or what collard greens are. And this one had a nice, like, pineapple-y taste. So, probably best taste, probably for this box, this one, followed by the Collars and Ghosts followed by the Psycho. It's basically kind of the reverse for, for heat. So this is the hottest, and then next hottest, and then um, the least hot for this one. So um, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll be back again when another box shows up. Um, that's good. Again, that's going to do it for now. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one, and take care.